What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Infinity Build Consult. We provide baby tutorials from zero to hero and we also inspire the world to the next generation. So guys, on this episode of our tutorials, we are going to learn how to use what the manage link. We are going to learn how to use manage link in Revit. So guys, let's move into the screen and I show you how the manage links work in Revit. So I'm going to use the Autodesk structure project or architecture project. So let's open a sample architecture project from Autodesk. So this is a sample. We are going to learn how to what, use the manage link and also insert settings file from the manage link area. So when I come to my user interface of my Revit and the working area, I just have to go to the site area. So under the site area, you can see this is the boundary which is in the right um, direction, which we call it the true north. So this is the true north. So I'm going to change from the true north towards a project north because it's a project in which I'm doing. So I'll come to my properties area under the orientation area. I just have to search for project north which is going to change in a 90 degrees for me as well so aside that after changing from the true node to the project node we are going to come into the view area under the view area we have sorry we have to come to the insert area rather so under the length area we have these types of files in which you can link the link file the Revit IFC file also we have the link card topo length and also DWF markups we also have the points cloud but with all this one has been uh, categorized or has been classified in a particular area that's what we are going to do which is the manage link so I'm going to use the manage link on our episode today so when you open the manage link, you realize that we have um, inserting what a Revit link also an IFC file and a card format, a DWF markups, a point cloud and a topography. So we have all these elements in which we can bring into our model. So we are we first going to start with the Revit area in which you all already know Revit. Revit is a BIM software helps us to modify or model our building element and also help us to analyze our building structure and everything also for documentation and stuff so how do i insert what my length file or a revit file into another revit file so when i come here you can see we have various tabs here this is how the tabs works so i'll just have to come to add under add, I'll just have to browse through my folder, which is called the folder links, and I'll just insect here. I'll click on this. After that, I can position my files or where I want to see. So I'm going to use center to center, and also do open. So one thing about the manage links helps you to control whatever you link inside or whatever you want to link inside your Revit file. So when I come to the Revit link area and I use the arrow to shoot it out in this black manner, I can also reload it in case I want to change my folder in which I place my Revit link. I can also reload in case I have a new file and I can also unload I said I can still add more or I can even remove my Revit link from my file so I'm going to do OK from here so after inserting you can see there is hash here so what you are going to do is to select the file in which we just brought which is the Revit link then we come to the site area when we come back to the site area we just have to do move 
then we move into position in which we want you can also use your arrow keys on the keyboard in order to position it aside that you know the topo surface or your boundary of your site in which where you want to place in your file or where you want to project your project so you just have to insert it there then you come back to the 3d so you realize that this is where we have positioned it now so guys this is how to insect a rivet file and on these tutorials we are going to learn how to insert all the files and also there's going to be an assignment in our tutorials today so after being able to insect the rivet file we move on to other files in which we can insect so i'll come back to my manage link so let's do something when i come to my section box i can uncheck my section box which expands what my topo surface also you realize that the file in which we insected was having a topo surface so we are going to do something here so i'll come to the 3d area and just do move and i'll move just minus 50 So let's rotate and see so it did not work I think it did not work so what we have to do is you realize that the site from the Autodesk is a site of undulating type of site it's not um, a type of site in which is level so I'm going to select my length file again so I can try and use my arrow key to position it here like that. After that, I'll come to my 3D area to see how it can be seen. So I have something like this. Okay. I think we can manage the, we can manage this one. So let's move on to how to insert other files into our Revit template. So I will still come back to my site area. From my site area, I'll come back to the insect tab and I'll come to manage link. So the next file in which we can insect is what an IFC file. So you realize that in case you have a file from let's say Archicad or stuff, in Revit you can export an IFC file by using this tab. So in case you want to export a link or an architect to work on a file and you want to send you an IFC file, you just have to come here and also export your file and send it to your client as well. Aside that we have options here in which helps you to what optimize what your file or your, your IFC files here as well. You can also optimize what your DWG files from here as well so let's move on i think it's best we do the card format in here are the card format area you just have to cut come to the card area you just click on the file so this properties is the one that i'm going to explain and i think you have to declare here with the current view only it means you are going to see the revit link in the current view only in case you check this area and also we have the preserve colors under the event preserve black and white and stuff we also have layers layers comes with you know in autocad we use layers so do you want to bring all the layers or do you want to specify some layers or do you want a specific layers you choose them here so i'm going to choose all under the position and also the unit I have to I'm going to choose auto detect so that it will detect the unit in which I'm having already in my AutoCAD file 
and also under the position i'm going to use the center to center as well and which level am i placing it i think i'll place it at level one is okay for now then i'm going to do open from here So you realize that because we did not check the current view only, we can see our model in, in the 3D area as well. So let me go back to my site area, try and select my file by using the tab key. Okay, so in case you are trying to select and you are not getting hold of it, you can try and select everything. Then you look for, or you can, let's see if we can get length file here. If you can get a length file, you come to filter, check none. Then you search for links. So it can it can be found in the filter area. So what we have to do is to try to search for it as well here. So let's do escape. So I think it's best we come to here. So we still can't find the ways of getting the length file. So I think I can select here rather and bring my length file somewhere here. After that, I have to uncheck my crop view so that I see my length file here as well. So we've managed to insert our AutoCAD, we've managed to insert our rate file. So we move on to insert other um, files which are within what the manage link. So I'll come back to my insect area again and I'm going to insert the DWF markups. So locate in. So I don't know how that one works, this is my first time trying to use it. So I'm using the locating and it's not coming. So in case you know how to use the DWF markups, kindly comment at the comment section box and also in case you have a note or something about it, you can just provide it to us. And also with a point cloud, I don't know which type of software is a point cloud so in case you understand that one to so kindly let me know at the comment section and the last thing that we are going to do we all know topo so in case you have a, a topo surface in which you've worked in CAD and also stuff you can also insect that one here so guys I hope this video has been valuable to you has been value to you and i hope we are learning the rivet together so guys if you are not part of the family kindly hit on the subscription button so that you become part of the family every time you release a video you get notified so kindly share the video and like the video as well so that youtube gets to know that we are doing something so guys see you in the other side of the video. Bye for now.